I've been doing terrazzo floors for a good dozen years or more now. My work is highly contextual. Um, by that, I mean it has to belong to the place it goes into. This project really started out thinking about the journey that people are taking while they're traveling, while they're moving through airports, and while they're anticipating what they're gonna see when they get away from the airport and get into the South Florida environment. If I'm doing a project in Fort Lauderdale, it has to be something that belongs to Fort Lauderdale and not Minneapolis or Atlanta. And so I'm always interested in looking at landscape and how a landscape fits the site, but taking sort of this broad view of landscape over time. So it's about recognizing your place in the landscape, uh, maybe maybe this larger sense of your movement through a lifetime and, uh, and maybe humanity's movement across the planet and landscape. So that's kind of a bit, big picture that, you know, taking the, the whole and making it very personal for people as they move through the airport. Micro and macro. So it's something both Scott and I have been interested in for a long time and it showed up in a lot of our work. And this one seemed a perfect um, opportunity to look at that further. So we looked at a lot of tiny elements and tiny animals, um, protoplankton, uh, diatoms, crustaceans, things that have these amazing forms and how they relate to these huge forms in nature, whether it's the forms of um, islands in the Everglades, or whether it's the forms of, of stars in the sky. These patterns in nature seem to repeat themselves on every scale. Um, and it's kind of a fascinating thing to make these relationships and recognize that there, there, there is some sort of universal geometry. The project initiated in 2011 and it was part of the renovation of the terminals. They were replacing the carpet with terrazzo and the idea was to create a design that was uh, welcoming for visitors of the airport, organize uh, the circulation of pedestrian traffic, and creative focal points. Like I think about three experiences, at least with these floors, is one is, is the individual experience, that it's you, you're looking down, and you have this connection. Secondly, I'm thinking about small groups of people and how they're going to inter interrelate with each other in a, in a small space and there's conversations and there's hugs, there's hellos, there's goodbyes, a lot of emotion in an airport. And then the, the much larger sort of, maybe not even a practical view, but this bird's eye, sort of the overall context of how everything fits together. And so it's, it's sort of the, again, the macro to the micro. And those are all design considerations for what, what I'm doing.
I love the initial design work, the research. I love learning about new environments that I'm not familiar with and trying to respond to it, trying to bring something to it special and trying to offer a perspective on it that I think may not have been done before or may not have been done well before. How we go from something very loose, organic, and try and turn it into something that can be installed as terrazzo, which is a medium that needs hard edges in order to contain uh, the pour, the liquid, that gets poured into the color areas. And so we go from a really fluid process in Adobe Photoshop to a process which is more mechanical, stiffer, and in doing so we try and retain some of that fluidity, some of that freshness, some of the organic qualities that were in the original Photoshop drawings, uh, but still be able to have the um, way of installing it in actual terrazzo. It takes fine tuning with colors and shapes and knowing what to do with the terrazzo strip. It often leads to relationships which, uh, because of the size, because of the scale, you didn't realize were gonna happen, but when you see it happen, um, it's cool, something neat happened here. I like that, I wanna keep it. It's part of the joy of the process, seeing the thing in real life, something that people can really use. Um, and it's part of the magic in seeing the, the remnants of that fluidity and that organic inspiration um, that really um, inspired how we designed the floor. There's a lot of, there's a lot of layering of, of depth, but that's what I want to have happen even though it's a flat floor. There's a lot of glass, there's a lot of mirror, there's a lot of mother of pearl, there's a lot of translucent kinds of materials that will catch the light, reflect the light differently. And, uh, and, and you see depth, you see shadows, you see the light go into the floor. So that you have this experience of sort of being on top of a surface, but um, like in Las Olas right now, people are telling me that they're floating, they're like flying, they're going over these, the 10,000 islands. Scott and I had an experience of the coastline of the Atlantic Ocean we took a couple of tours into the Everglades, very different ecosystems, different types of Everglades, and just kind of fell in love with it. So when I came to this floor, I was really interested in thinking about the movement of people as a sort of a meditation on this larger human journey over time. And we're all trying to get somewhere, and also in our life. It's such, such a miracle to be able to go up into the sky and to think about how the sky and how the sky connects us to the earth again. And so it's about realizing one's place in the universe and sort of, you know, the, the, the wow of looking at a, a, star, a starry sky, you know, that just blows you away at night. So uh, we tried to connect that back in time to some of the earliest explorers. This, there's images of Spanish galleons and old, old uh, maps as well from the 16th, 17th centuries. So what we want to find out by putting these layers of images together is we want to recognize relationships. Relationships between uh, flora and fauna that are indigenous to South Florida. Relationships between landforms and some of those animals. Relationships between big macro scale elements and micro scale things that we've discovered here or seen here on the beach or in the Everglades. And look at those kind of relationships and look for the magic that happens when those things are combined. Um, how they are really of the same, you know, of the same design. How they have uh, a relationship that's uh, in nature, kind of a relationship that you find in fractals, where the smallest thing has the same pattern that you find in the largest thing, like in galaxies, um, in the sky. Um, and for instance, we have this juxtaposition going on between stars, stars in the cosmos, and starfish, and making one seem like the other and creating constellations out of starfish. So that's perfect, right? That's what, that's what you do in an airport. That's how you're meant to, right? You get in this airplane and you go up. And so you have this experience of looking down and looking up, and, it, and the light and the shadow and the gathering of these forms. I hope will just enhance one's experience, right? This sort of grand 
adventure, right? A lot of people come to Fort Lauderdale and, and they're going on an adventure. They're going on this great journey. The way some people experience this floor is once and they've come to Fort Lauderdale for, for their lifetime vacation, right? And then others are gonna be in this airport working every day for 20 years. So again, those layering is so important that you don't wanna have just a single definitive experience that's just in your face. We like try to hide a little hidden nuggets in, in the floor and so there's, you know, there's sea monsters and there's these flying machines and uh, perhaps some treasure yet to come. But if the light's just right and it's a very thin strip, you might say, oh, and, and there might be a shape there that you you hadn't seen before. So that's that's the joy of discovering something that, right, it just doesn't reveal itself in the first five minutes. So that's very intentional. What I'm trying to do as an artist and what Scott and I really, I think, were charged with was representing the special environment to people who, especially to people who are here for the first time, in anticipation of what they're going to experience. So bringing some of that indoors into the airport so that they're kind of teased and it's set up so that when they get out into the South Ward environment, they're really noticing these things. It's an artwork that covers the entire departures level of Terminal 3. It includes concourses E, F, and the entire ticketing area. And also, it's great for visitors. It just creates something that's very beautiful and welcoming. And then at the end, it gets thrilling again. When you see it resolved, you see, you see the success of this kind of translation into something people can use, something people can walk on, and something that people appreciate.